You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Beauty and the Beast After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256. 1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Beauty and the Beast After Show. Going to the chapel and we're <laughs> We're getting down. Yeah. Hey, After Buzz, what's going on? I'm Ali Conor Bradford. Bing is for doing, and today we are doing Beauty and the Beast. Joining me are my two lovely co-hosts, as always, Amber J. Hey. And of course, Paige Sullivan. Yes, hi everybody. So we're excited. It's the mid-season finale, episode nine, entitled, excuse me, entitled Bridesmaids Up. It's the wedding. Yay! Yay. So main focus here is that cat single or at least that's all it's I kept hearing episode. over and over again so much pressure Ugh. I was kind of getting annoyed to be honest with you guys yeah, I mean we know you're single cat like I know well she knows she's single and she's and the thing is oh you're such a beautiful girl okay yeah I have a friend who thinks you know the worth of herself basically is if a guy loves her and if she's got a boyfriend these girls were driving me crazy I want to shake all of them and right she has a great career. She's got friends. You don't know what's going on in her life. She doesn't need a man. Right. Be right. self-sufficient. Not everybody needs a man in their life. Thank but you. you say that because you have a man. Fine. You can say that all you want, <laughs> but I, I talk good, right? I'm telling Since you. Since she was 15, <laughs> it right? Good. 15, she's had this man. Okay. But you have a Her man. opinion is irrelevant. Now, exactly. moving on. We'll have a conversation. To the single people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to the single people. Hey, Hello. All the single oh. ladies. Exactly. Oh, all hey. the single ladies. Okay. Hey, sitting over, it. yeah. That's why I host it. <laughs> but seriously, I felt bad for her. Like, don't make yeah. her feel like she's not worth well, anything. Everybody's staring at her too. So, hey, huh? And you have all these eyes just on her. And of course, so then she ends up making up a boyfriend, Vince. But so he's not really made up. No, she's he's not. And that's what sucks about her situation. I feel like, you know, when you do have somebody fresh and you're really excited and in that beginning stage of getting to know someone, all you want to do naturally is just talk to your girlfriends about it. Mm -hmm. But she's in a situation that she just can't do that because his identity is at risk for being... And it's like she can't because I don't think she wants to admit to herself that she really likes him. I think, you know... Rather than admit it to your friends, it's like, you don't even know if you like him. You know, it's like, oh, I do, but I don't. Mm -hmm. He's a human. He's not. You know, I really, she's just unsure. So I think this episode really sh shows that uncertainty and, like, lets us know that she is really single and yeah. doesn't really have any prospects. Yeah. Because I don't really consider him, like, a prospect because it's not like she can. But I think, I think she knows she likes him deep down because she, in the past few episodes, was starting to show a little bit of her more mm -hmm. tender side. But what I feel like is she's in denial about she knows what her heart feels, if that makes sense. That's I've true. You always know. It's, it's that fight between her heart and her mind. She just right. can't decide if this is worth the risk. And this was a whole thing this episode. She kind of said it at the wedding in her toast. Uh, they decided it's worth the risk. They're taking the jump right. in there. They're making this relationship work. And this whole beginning of the season, this whole first season has been dedicated to whether or not she wants to risk everything she has and risk Vincent's life, really, to have this connection with right. him. I don't know. I, I think she's not uncertain. I think she's just not sure if it's worth it. She knows she cares about him, knows she wants to be with him, but it's maybe not worth it for either of them. Yeah, well, I mean, like you just said, the whole theme throughout the entire episode was t two people that don't belong together. There's every single which reason why they don't belong together, mm -hmm. but they should just be together because they have that chemistry, mm -hmm. which is what I feel like she was describing when she was doing the toast between her dad and the really young girl. There's so many reasons for them not. But yeah. when they're together, it's electric, you know, and I think she knows and she realizes that she has that chemistry with Vincent. Yeah, and it's, it, it was strange even 
Okay, he's supposed to be the one who has the super sense, like spidey sense or something. But she's sitting there at the dinner table and she feels a breeze and she and knows it's, it's Vincent. I was kind of like, this is so silly. It felt so cliche. Like, oh, it's going to have that connection. There. Yeah. I don't care what kind of connection you have. You can't tell when somebody's that far away. Right. Right. But no, it was cute. But I just, this whole episode, they still haven't kissed people. I'm so no, it's curious. Crazy. Furious, but they were so close. So they had times. a lot of intimate moments in this episode. Yes. They had a lot of moments like the dance at the wedding. What else? Um, I feel like they were making they were out with their so eyes. In her apartment when he put her, the necklace on. Exactly. That was oh. such a good moment. Yes. Like, And he was like touching her and she was like, yeah. I was smiling for her. Like, mm -hmm. I just wanted her, I just wanted to reach down and grab right. her. I know. Because it was just such a good moment. There was, there were just so many things. Like, you know, I, at least hold hands, do something. Like, give us something well, to, like, swoon over. I felt like when they were dancing, that whole moment out of us trying to predict whether or not they're going to kiss, and they're slowly dancing, and you see her hands kind of going up and down. I'm on. Get it, get it, get it. Right? She's and then they her. ruined it. Yeah. Well, yeah. That happened a few times, though. I know. This whole episode, you get so high and you're so excited. And then they crush your dreams and they can't be together. Because he says, I'll go to the wedding with you. I'll be your date. I'll do this. I'll do that. And she says, no. no. And then they're at the house, at not the house, the warehouse. And he's saying all about this text. And they're both like, no, you can't go. He's like, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about JT going. But it's like, no matter what he does, he fights for this. He wants this. Yeah. He's willing to risk his yes. life for her. And they just keep shutting him down. Yeah. No, but to see Kat shut him down finally, it's like starting to show that she's not as selfish as he yes. once thought. Because mm -hmm. she's like, I don't want to hurt you. Like, I don't want to hurt you just to go to a wedding. Like, she even said that in an episode. Like, I would feel so bad if something happened because I was single and didn't have a date to a wedding. Mm -hmm. So it's starting to show that she's not as selfish and that she really is concerned about him too. So it's good to see them care about each other, except that they care about each other so much that nothing is happening. Right. So I right. kind of would want her to go back to being selfish so I could at least <laughs> see a kiss or something. Mm -hmm. you, did you guys catch though, I'm going to jump around to the end of the wedding where, or excuse me, not even the end of the wedding. She's having a conversation with her dad. And one of the things he calls her out on is he thinks it's just a regular guy and you know, she's, afraid to bring him and he's not the one and it's a wedding and they'll have pictures together but he's like you know your problem and I had this problem too when your mom passed away is that I overanalyzed everything mm -hmm. I always looked for what was going to go wrong and I feel like that's what you're doing too and that is it's what she's doing with Vincent not that she shouldn't be cautious but in this particular episode where Vincent is so just free spirited and eager he's yes. so willing and it's oh I love it a detective yeah. She's supposed to overanalyze everything. She's supposed like that's her personality. It's her job. I don't think she's doing anything. These are the abnormal. two worst things that can happen. Vincent is taken in by the government and killed or Vincent lives in a warehouse by himself lonely and sad his whole life and cat wonders what if. I mean, I mean, those are pretty extreme. Well, yeah, they're but extreme, <laughs> but it's 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 he either lives in a warehouse sad and alone for his entire life or he risks it to be with cat. And if, if or that he kills Cat, but yeah, that to me would be a bigger concern because the government he you, would escape. Do you think he would kill Cat? He could. Mm. He's. I don't think that's what she's worried about. Yeah, she's but probably he more kill worried about else. him just exposing himself and. But I still think the reason she's worried about him exposing himself is because of the risk that it puts to his identity and his life, not because of other people or. Uh, I don't really know. I, I think it's really still about the government and not so much about the other factors. Because gotcha. at first he's telling her he's all better, he's not blocking out, he's not going to hurt anybody. Right. And I think she believes that. Right. I don't know. You know, going, I would say going back, we left off last episode talking about or seeing JT in the lab. He's creating this formula, this serum, and of course, what are the odds? Tess comes walking by, you know, with the teeny bopper, and they see JT. Mm -hmm. Well, now this episode, Evan just will not let go of this whole experience he had a few episodes mm -hmm. back with the Beast. Yep. And so they have this whole drawing of JT, and I was like, oh, But thank great. God for JT. That he there did were it. no security cameras. Yes. There were no cameras. But that picture was pretty on. That was that was dead on. I mean, so I guess she looked through the footage and found him, but... Yeah, th so there was security camera footage. Outside. Outside, outside. Oh. but not inside the lab. Oh. So, like, Tess had to, like, reverse look up all the footage. Right. So, I feel like the drawing, he didn't have his glasses on. True. And it could be anybody. True. So, I think that's going to work out in his favor. But, 
Had he shown up to the wedding to be Kat's date with Evan there, Which we thought I was, was going to happen. I was so nervous. I was like, "Not JT. I love JT, and he really is just trying to be a good friend in all of this." And I would feel so awful if he got caught in the crossfire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, going along with that too, and Evan and all his findings. Ironic, but obviously they storylined it this way. JT's over here doing his own business for Serum, but coincidentally, Evan's working on studying cross-mutation and this particular gene that is mutating, and of course it's Vincent's. I was like, what are the odds? Well, And we, he's thinking that somebody stole his studies. Well, we talked about this last week, uh, kind of about what he was going to do with this, what, why he was so obsessed. And I, I like that he thinks Kat's still on his team. I like that, that he confided in her and told her everything that was happening. Because of what happened to her mother, that's one of the first cases this DNA showed up. Yeah. And so she's constantly going to be in the loop. But it's just, I knew I didn't like Evan from the beginning. No. And he's <laughs> dating the other sister. Which is, ew. That was the worst part of the episode. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you date her sister? Like, right. that made me, I'm not a fan even, of this character anymore. Even though she asked I know. Politely, right. dec like, decline the offer. Yeah, and you know, and the thing is, is when he found out that Kat admitted that she really didn't have a Vincent Zolansky? Zolansky. 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 Oh, there we go. Sorry. I feel like it's, that's like a Hey Arnold character or something. Like, I feel like I've heard that name before. <laughs> Vincent Zolansky. Monkey Man! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everybody loves Hey Arnold. Oh. Mm. I do. Football I was head. Gerald I, one no. year. Me and my uh, friend in college, oh, hey Arnold. had my hair all the way up. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. I want to see pictures. I'll bring them next week. Um, but. Um, <sighs> hold on. Um, okay, where were we? Yeah, totally. Okay, back to the show. Yeah, right. Okay, hey Arnold. so totally out of line. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. There was a moment where where Kristen admitted that she was making this whole character up. And I Kristen, Evan, she means cat. Oh, I do that all the time, guys. <laughs> so, no worries. But I feel like for a moment when Evan heard that, he was like, oh, shoot. He did have that you know? look in his eyes where he was like, oh, I could have gone with Chris. Oh, she darn. Have a but I don't think he wants to let the little sister die. The little sister is just annoying. Oh, my God. Yeah. She's so annoying. annoying. Yeah. Heather, right? Heather. Yeah. yeah. She's just, an her haircut's annoying. Yes, we are so mad at that. Her headband was annoying. Yeah. The whole time, that yeah. stupid <laughs> It's like She's just an annoying character. Yeah. And I don't like to talk about characters, but she... I don't. I have to go back to the haircut. I don't understand it because she's such a pretty girl. I've she seen her gorgeous, long curly locks, and then it seems like they cut it for the show. I just don't understand why they made it look like yeah. a boy. Okay, I think the reason she's so annoying is because she's you know everybody's little sister. She's that annoying. Yeah. You know, I know oh. me and my little sister have this thing where she constantly thinks I'm being not nice <laughs> and i think she's annoying and she's constantly talking and talking and talking and talking and i feel like that's who heather is she definitely plays the character very well yeah because yeah, yeah. she annoys me like i'm i only have a little brother so i'm glad i don't have i don't yeah. have any siblings uh, i have no idea you're what's missing going on. out you could yeah. have a heather oh yes i can loan <laughs> you some of mine if you want <laughs> <laughs> but oh, yes. i think i think you're right she plays the character well and she, we're annoyed with her because we're supposed to be annoyed right with her. right that's i don't true. think she's supposed to be endearing so but, I don't know. Do you her, guys, I say, do you guys foresee her possibly sleeping with Evan? Yes. Absolutely. She's well, like, she was so drunk. No, because yeah. they just drove up on that crash. Ah. They're not gonna. Ha well, no, I mean in the Later future. On. In the future. In no, the I know, but future. I thought you meant tonight when you said she was oh. so drunk. I was like, nah. yeah, but they just saw her sister get into a car accident. True, right. I doubt they'll have sex tonight. Um. It'd be nice to see some action on this show. Yeah, nothing is happening right now. I feel like you go into the CW shows wanting this. You know, this is what we want. This is what we crave. And it's nothing, nothing. I mean, at least yeah. some, like, nice dry humping or something. Like, <laughs> wow. anything. Censor. Censor. But seriously, nothing. That's so CW worthy. Like, something. Yeah. Like, we haven't even seen a kiss. No. Not, not a even kiss. a nice yeah, body Yeah, guys, run. they're going, they're trying to do old school romance. I remember? don't like it. Well. I'm new school, oh, and okay, I want well, that. It is 2012. You know what? Well, we're taking it back to the 50s or somewhere. People in the that. 50s at least held hands. They kissed. This is true, but they weren't genetically mutated and half animal and half Well, person. what's wrong with Heather and Evan kissing? Mm, they're just, mm. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> you can tell us what you think, old school or new school, old on school. iTunes. You can comment, rate, check us out. You can download our podcasts. You can set up 
a podcast app where it automatically downloads it for you, so you can always go there and just it'll magically be there on your iTunes. So that's always nice. And tell us what you're thinking. We're gonna be on you know a little hiatus until January 24th, I think. But tell us anything you're hoping for next season or anything you want to see different. Uh, we read the comments. We do. So make sure and give us a five star rating, please. Yes. But Always appreciated. I mean, God, this episode was so juicy. Too much going on. Let's talk about the case. We haven't even gotten into that yet. And to be honest with you, I thought it was going to be a really small backstory. Me and too. It was like, and it turns out to be this huge twist towards the end with a crazy lady. Great. Right. She is out of her mind. Yes. Is she, really quick before we get into the story, she looked really familiar. Do either of you ladies know who she is? No, but she does look familiar. I have no idea who she is. Like one of those Melrose Place vixens or something. I know yeah. she wasn't on it, but that's who she reminds she's me She's pretty. Of. She's gorgeous. I yeah. don't know why, but every time I saw her, I thought about the 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. Corolla DeVille? Yes. Mm -hmm. For some reason. Modern day. I just like wanted her to jump around this white fur coat. Oh. I don't know. She she could play that. She after, could totally play after that. After watching yeah. this episode, she yeah. could yeah. play that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God, it was crazy. Yeah, so getting into the case, you guys, explain to me uh, really quick the beginning because I missed a little bit of the beginning. Unfortunately, I was taking notes. But we know that a gentleman had gotten murdered, and he was well, kind of this match master. Match master well, first, wow. Vincent brings the case to Kat. Yes. He, he smells, smells blood. blood, and a guy is nervous, and he doesn't have blood on him, doesn't seem like he has blood, but he smells like blood. And he has blood in his briefcase. Oh, and mm -hmm. that's the husband. Yes. Yes. Right. And so we get all this because Vincent gives her the address. Tess looks up the address. We find out who owns it, and that's Drake and Sabrina, Sabrina. Meyer. They own it. She is a matchmaker. Think millionaire matchmaker. And she's married to this. He's supposed to be a financial advisor of some sort. We find out that's not so true. But he's the perfect catch, basically. Right. Right. And so it turns out somebody was murdered. And we find out, um, because we don't find out really by looking into the case, but a separate call comes in saying a financier, I guess, didn't come to a meeting with his lawyer. And so they kind of put two and two together. He's wealthy. <laughs> he also is in finance. Right. right. How they put it together was one of the bridesmaids was at Kat's apartment, and she was looking at her tablet, and she was like, oh, you're going to use Sabrina Meyer to get a date. Yeah. And Kat was like, no. I mean, she was kind of like, yeah, I am. Yeah. So when she gets to the station and that call comes in, they re like they reverse look it up right. and they realize like that was the last person. So that was kind of I liked how they like tied it all together with Kat's personal life this time. Like that yeah. was kind of cool, like the yeah. case and her personal life. But um, she gets there and the lady just gives her so much information. Yeah. Like, she was just, like, a jewel this time. She's like, yeah, and we'll match you with this person, or yeah. this person's not available. And yeah. then she's like, he died. But at first, I thought it was interesting, because Kat's really trying to get some information from her. So she's trying, and to me, it was so transparent. Oh, I love your shoes. And she didn't get the results she wanted, so mm -hmm. then it moved on to, oh, well, ah. And then finally, she just got real and was like, look. I have this wedding and something, even though it was, she was still acting, parts of it were genuine because it did connect to her real life. So I think that's why it pulled out such a good performance. And that's how she weaseled her way into the computer system. I was really convinced. I was yeah. convinced, though, that she didn't kill him. I was yeah. convinced that she had nothing to do with the murder, didn't know he was dead. I yeah, was I thought the husband, I thought it was just the husband because her reaction when Kat was like, hey, what, uh, the gentleman, I don't recall his name. Uh, Mc, uh, Mr. His Mandel. Mandel. Mr. Yeah, Mandel. Mandel. Yes, Mandel, she, when she relayed the message that he had Neil got, Mandel. There you go. Got it. Okay, when he, when she relayed the message that he'd passed away, the lady did. She put on a great performance of... She did. Oh, my God. Honey, did you know? Oh, my God. And she God, was blurting information out. She was blurting out. He was with so-and-so last night, and I got a call, and she sounded really upset. Which it, is why I don't think she did it. Yeah, until the end know? where she's a crazy and she pulls out a gun but what on if she's, She said that you messed up my happily ever after. What but if her so husband did that did person. It? No, but so did that person. That person was threatening to mess up her ha 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 happily ever after. So then why did the husband smell like blood? Because he cleaned it up, they said. Yeah, yeah, because she oh. did it. She freaked her out, Lou called Lou him, Baton shoe. left the nail polish. Speaking of Louboutins, I was convinced that something in this episode had something else to do with shoes because the bridesmaids were talking about Louboutins. Right. And uh. then... Uh, she had on Louboutins. I was like, what? Well, that was the that was the connection because she said, I paint my Louboutins with nail right. polish. And then, right. I mean, I didn't see but that I just, coming. Yeah. I just thought more was going to come out of that. I like was she like, killed him with the oh, shoe. Like, are they doing <laughs> yeah. a promo with the shoe? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, are we going to get free shoes? 
Like, right? you know, can we please? <laughs> Come That'd on, be CW, great. send us That'd some. Be great. I'd love some. So After Buzz TV shoes. Uh, <laughs> uh, watch, I have a wad of gum on there or something. <laughs> but anyway, speaking of matchmaking, I'm going to jump into a little different part of the show, but still related to the matchmaker. I want to call her Matchmaster. Match I love master. that she had this huge survey. Cats. Oh, yeah, I had to think so about cute. it. I was going to say Kristen. I love that Cats had to fill out her little survey, and Vince looks at it, and he's reading it, and she likes meeting on the, the windowsill and Rooftops. rooftop dinners. And just the look on his face when he's like, she's, she's talking about me. He looked like he was going to drop yeah. a tear. Because she's been so, not playing hard to get, but, you know, she's been so closed cool. off. Yeah. yeah, and she's really trying to keep her distance, I think, for herself. Uh, and this let him know that she's thinking about him. It's not just him invested yeah. in this relationship. Yeah. She's definitely invested. Absolutely. I, I had loved to, it. I, I, jumped, was, I jumped around, but, uh, that was but my, this whole, that was one of my favorite moments. This whole episode, um, he said that when they were in the bedroom and he had put the necklace on, he said something about Vincent. Oh, he said he would play Vincent Zelansky. And she goes, you'd have to be Vincent Zelensky forever. And he goes, I can do that forever. And I was like, oh, I want to marry her. <laughs> and then... Like, later, they kept dropping these one-liners, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so cute. I noted it. They wrote, he, she wrote, he was saying, since I can't play your fake boyfriend, I'll be your fake detective. And she goes, you're you're not fake. You're very real. Yeah. And you know she's talking about more than his detective yeah. work. It's just like, oh, I want this so bad, and it won't happen. Oh, They're doing it on purpose. I it's, think we're all. I'm on the edge of my seat. Like, I really am so excited for the next half of the season. I'm glad they ended on a high note, though, because it was like we were all hi. like, hi. hi. Wait, hold on, hold on. We got we to gotta get back to this case so we can talk about the crazy no. lady because. High that, note. <laughs> like, I feel like they ended it on something that's going to make you like want. We're, we're going to be watching, of course, oh, anyway. Of course, absolutely. But it's like. <gasps> mm-hmm. it, right. not in a good way. I think it was good. I like stuff like that. Like, I like to be thrilled. So I was shocked. I literally was at the end. I was like, oh, well, you guys were predicting it. And I was like, what? No, no, this isn't really happening. I yeah. was in shock. Good job. Beauty you thought the there Beast. was a man in heels. <laughs> no. So did I. So did I. I was like, what man is wearing heels? The pants, like her legs look so wide. And then, oh, okay. Hey, That's where you guys, got from. I what? saw a man buying women's jeans the other day, so it's whatever. I mean, it I get it, but I was like, what is she talking about? <laughs> no, I thought, I didn't think, I said it was a man, but that was prior to the heels. She thought it was a man in heels, but I did think <laughs> it was a man. I thought it was somebody from the government. I thought in coming, af- <laughs> <laughs> coming after Kat, that's what I thought, or a drunk driver. I didn't think it was a malicious thing, which I guess we have to get back into the case to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Rewind. find the dead man. Vincent finds the paint. Yes, in he's really helped out a lot in this case. Right, so the paint, it's her shoe. It's her Louboutin shoe, her red nail polish paint chipped off. So they can't connect her right now, so they can't hold her. They're holding her husband on fraud. And Kat says, you make women feel broken because they don't have a man in their life. And she's like, well, now your happily ever after is broken. Right. Which well, I yeah. thought was like, whoa, good for right. you, girl, yeah. but maybe she should have held her tongue. Yeah. Maybe she shouldn't have said that. Yeah. So, oh, 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 but then, okay, here's the thing. At the wedding, that's another one of those, uh, because her and Vincent are finally having a moment, but Kristen finds out from her drunken sister through Evan that Evan has caught on to the mutation and that, in actuality, Vince is mutating more towards an animal. Mm-hmm. So it's Kristen's breaking the bad news. Why do I keep calling her cat? I'm cat. I'm not even going to correct yeah, you yeah, just, <laughs> You guys know what I mean. But it sucks because she said the one thing she fears is having a really good moment and then somehow it gets ruined and that's exactly what happened. Everything's going great and Vincent, he's on this high, but as soon as she gives him that message, and at first I feel like he was in disbelief too. Like, no, no, yeah, I'm he good. Felt so I feel good, good the entire episode. Like, it was so great because he's like, I think I'm cured. This isn't, you know, nothing's going to affect me anymore. And it's yeah. like, okay, like. I mean, it has to go somewhere. It's the CW. But you're like, oh, good for Vincent. Like, the serum worked. We're so excited. And, yeah. and then we get the ball that he's turning into more of an animal. Like, yeah. And then he, what does this mean? But then he jets off. And the bittersweet part about it is after Kat gives this whole long speech about how two people shouldn't be together and they are, she's like, all right, you know, what? I'm going to go get my man. I was so and then excited. here comes crazy lady. And that's how I knew it wasn't a drunken driver because drunken drivers might swerve a little bit. But she was like bumping and weaving and dodging just to make sure she got Cat off the road. See, I was 
so excited. I was on the edge of my seat. They're going to kiss. They're going to they're gonna embrace each other. This is going to be amazing. I was like, this is a way to end this, you know, winter finale. No. I mean, it was still exciting and still got me on the edge of my seat, but come on. Like, that was not what I wanted. So sad. Yeah. She's crazy. Yeah. I've said that a lot, but that yeah. woman was crazy. Yeah. So basically, point of the story is there's a draw, and they both shoot each other. Mind you, where did Kat keep that gun in her dress? Yeah. It's her it sister's was car. Yeah. True. Sister's car. Yeah, so it's not like it was under the seat. Did she bring it to the wedding But with when her? she pulled it out, I was like, she better kill this lady. Like, in my mind, I'm thinking that. And then, like, I didn't even notice she was shot at first. Yeah. Until she, like, I was like, moved. Oh, there's and blood. You know what? Not to be vulgar or anything like that or crass but usually if you shoot somebody doesn't stuff splatter or something that's how i didn't realize that she got shot either because you see the one lady hit get hit and fall over i think and it all depends on like what kind of gun you yeah. use i mean i'm no expert uh, on that but i thought so too but i guess it's like where it hits yeah, yeah. and, and the whole time i'm thinking where's vincent He's usually here right in time and he shows up just after yeah and the way the lady like she just like stood there and I'm like, I thought she was still alive. I didn't yeah. think she yeah. got hit. I didn't yeah. think she and got I was hit. Like, that was the I worst. I feel like if I got hit ever. by any sort of bullet, it would be like flailing arms and screaming. Yeah, or you'd and just get like, pushed. What? <laughs> just like that. Just like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. And it was just such a silent. And then like, cat didn't even like touch. Like, I feel like when you cut yourself, you're like, <laughs> well, I think blood. I like, think she was already somewhat loopy. <laughs> from okay. the rolling, flipping oh, in the true. car. That's true. Because her car flipped and all that, and I didn't even think she'd have time to pull her gun, and she barely did. Uh, so I think she was kind of in shock, maybe concussed. Somewhere. Concussed? That's what it's called. When really? You concussion. Mm -hmm. Oh, concussed. okay. I learned something new today. <laughs> I'm just making That sounds like up. a dirty word. I know, right? Well, <laughs> Especially in your not. medical terms over there, Paige. No, I know, right? I might as well be a doctor, but not. <laughs> but, yeah, so she, I think that's why. But, I mean, here he comes, seconds too late. Beasting out. Yeah. But he, he, I don't think he was beasting out. I think he intentionally put himself there oh, yeah. to so rip the could, door off. Yeah, exactly. The problem is when he's there, it, I think it just takes. He doesn't know how to, he's so worked up, he can't He can't calm bring down. himself down. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. I was like, please let him calm down yeah. before Evan and Heather drive up, you know, like, and then just be a normal man. But even if he did that, he ripped the door off the car. Adrenaline? But that yeah. could have been explained. Like, but oh, the door flew yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. They when didn't it, see him do that. All they see is him holding her. And then it was almost really cute because he buries his head in her He's trying to hair. hide. Yeah, and he's like, he's I'm like, He's rocking her. Did you see that? He was rocking yes. her back and forth. Aww. I mean, I won't say too much else because that's my prediction. So okay. I will be quiet. Well, yeah, I, I have predictions too. I mean, that's kind of where we end off. That's, yeah. I mean, the season... Is getting heated. I'm excited for what's to come after. Well, then let's just get into our predictions, shall we? Uh, and now, you're after Buzz TV. So I'm going to let you go first since you <laughs> almost splurged. Just go ahead I and did. go for I did. I just couldn't wait. Okay, so like I said, I think my prediction is when the season opens, I think he's just going to be Vincent. I don't think he's going to be the Beast. I think he's going to pull it together before Evan and Heather arrive and it's just gonna look like he was holding her i don't know how they're gonna explain where he came from but i think he's gonna like literally pull it together because you see like in some of the flash forwards like he sees his fiance and he's walking down the steps as a yeah. doctor yeah so i think that he's gonna be able to explain himself like oh i was in the car with her i was walking down, i was hitchhiking or something and i'm a doctor i'm such and such and like that's how he ends up back in the hospital uh, um, you know, like that's how things get back to normal. I think they find them normal, and I think that their relationship is. This is just my imagination. I think that their relationship is going to blossom, but I think like we're like, oh my gosh, we don't want them to see him like that. And I think, I don't think it's time for them to see the beast yet because they don't. If they were going to let someone see him, it would. It wouldn't be Heather. No, like it's just too soon for Heather to see anything. She's yeah. Just, and not. it wouldn't be Evan because he would have it out for exactly. him real fast. But see, here here I am. I'm kind of the opposite. I, I hope I hope for what you're predicting. I really do because I think that will make for a cleaner exit for Vincent. Exactly. You know? It's not as complicated. But on the other hand, I think if Evan was to see him, because I don't necessarily know if Heather's going to run out of the car and try and go right. see her sister who's really hurt with this You don't this think man. you would do that if it was your sister? I might, but I might just be freaking I out. I don't do blood, people. I really oh. don't do blood. I'd probably be like, oh, my God, is that her, is that her? Like, I would be freaking out, but I don't <laughs> know if I would run up. But saying she did it, saying, you know, 
Evan gets there first. Who's to say that Evan's not – Evan didn't get hurt by this beast. You know, he's he's part of this mutation. He's a scientist. This is intriguing right. to him. This is interesting. He's not out to get the murderer. He's out to figure out what this is. So do you think he's going to jump onto Team Vincent and yes, help? Yes, I think so. I think he's going to be intrigued by this. I think he's going to want to help learn mm. more, maybe work with JT. Maybe they'll figure – maybe they'll be one big happy family. I mean, this is wishful thinking, but worst case scenario, he finds him like that. That's the only way I think what we saw coming up can happen. I, you know, I'm gonna have to. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with Whatever. her prediction Woo! because, yeah, because you know, here's the thing. I like your prediction a lot. I just don't know if I necessarily find that realistic because of the fact that Evan has had feelings for Cat in the past. So for him to just forget those feelings and then jump onto in the name of science. Vincent's team I just don't see that happening I feel like they purposely left us on a cliffhanger and it's going to be exactly how you said where somehow he'll get it together and as far as with his fiance coming up I feel like that's going to happen right when Kat and Vince are connected yes maybe they'll have had their first kiss by then but then here comes this girl stirring up trouble and what was she in a doctor's outfit too she was i think she's also a oh. doctor oh i didn't even get to do my news and gossip i guess we're being kicked off already you can do it no worries okay well you know was there any news and gossip you, my, you know this is not gossipy just random news that i read and i just thought it was really cool because I'm a dancer outside of this, and I read that Vincent, not Vincent, I'm so married to these characters and getting backwards with the names. Jay Ryan used to be a contemporary dancer when he was in theater, and I just thought I would share he that He does again. move very gracefully. Yeah. He does, he does. Vincent in tights. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. And we could still vote for the People's Choice yes, Awards. Yes, please. I forgot to mention that. Thank you yeah. so much. It's not too late. Vote for them. We want them to win an award. Mm -hmm. Get some recogni recognition. Excuse me. Yes. Definitely. So Give them I some more views. People need to watch this. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah, I feel like the first few episodes didn't really do them justice, and they lost a lot of their fans because people already anticipated the format going a certain direction. And when it didn't, they were like, meh, I'm good on Beauty and the Beast. Exactly. But it got so good. So spread the word. Tell a friend. And tell them to watch our show. I also read somewhere on Twitter. I think it was on Jay Ryan's Twitter. It was like a link to a contest that VH1 was having. Really? And Vincent is in the lead at like 29% for, for CW hot men, right? No, for the favorite, the like the most favorite supernatural character of 2012. Oh. It was like some of the twilight characters, some of the people from vampire diaries. He's in the top 10. He's like, he's number one. <gasps> Ooh. He's like leading. Wow. God, um, Jay. Yeah. So I was really happy for him and I was like clicking around via Twitter. So that's exciting nice. for him. Yeah. Very exciting. Well, he is good looking. So. He is. Yeah, I, I concur. Slash my husband. So yeah, oh. he's got a girlfriend. She's a writer. She could be replaced. A writer oh, on the show? No, she's just a writer, but she follows him around every time he travels for oh, acting. That's cute. Must be nice. Yeah, right? That's yeah. okay. Oh, well. Okay, well, <laughs> looks like we're wrapping up our mid-season finale. We will miss you guys so much. Until January, we will see you then. I'm Allie Kona Bradford. You can follow me on Twitter at KissMyPassport or on Facebook and Tumblr, Tumblr Excuse me, under Allie Kona Bradford. Ladies. I'm Amber J. You can follow me on Twitter at I'm Amber J. J-A-Y-E. And I am Paige Sullivan, and you can follow me on Twitter at Paige Sell. So happy holidays, and we will see you guys next year. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.